Queen's Gambit declined, 3 Knights, Harwitz attack, 5, 006.E3C5. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. c5 attacks the pawn on d4, prepares to develop the knight behind the pawn and opens the diagonal for the queen to develop. It is the last book move. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is quite good. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This gains tempo on a bishop while simultaneously developing a piece. It is ideal. There is a better way to respond to an assault on a bishop than this. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. There is an easier way to transport a queen to safety than this. It is incorrect. This blows the chance to pin the pawn. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This misses a chance to suggest winning a rook. It is incorrect. This overlooks a better way to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is a mistake. A pawn kicks the opposing queen forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This might indicate that a bishop was attacked. It is quite good. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. That's good. This exposes a bishop attack. It is quite good. This deters an assault on a rook that is exposed. 
This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. When a bishop moves away from being attacked, this gains a tempo. That's good. This blocks the attack on a bishop that could have been captured. This threatens to win a queen. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to disclose an attack on a piece. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned queen. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. This stops the opponent from being able to add pressure on a pinned queen. It is excellent. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the pawn's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. This makes it impossible for the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. 
a pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a mistake. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It is a miss. This gives away a free pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a blunder. This secures a pawn. That's good. This disregards a superior strategy for dodging the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This gives the adversary the opportunity to promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This avoids the pawn's check. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. With the right follow-up, this will lead to checkmate. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.